If you're thinking about moving to Mirabel, which is a lovely city on the north shore of Montreal, I'm pretty sure you'll like this video because it'll be about the pros and cons of living in Mirabel. Mirabel is the largest territory of the greater metropolitan area of Montreal. It is a huge territory and its population has grown so much in the last couple of years. To give you an idea, between 2016 and 2021, five year, it grew by 21% so that its population is now, has now surpassed 61,000 people. So it's a huge territory with a huge increase of its population in recent years. And that has had a lot of consequences that I'll speak about later on. What I like about Mirabel is that it has always had this agricultural side and it has kept it throughout the years. So when you drive in Mirabel, you'll see some farmers everywhere and it makes the city really unique. And what I noticed again about the population, the new buyers in Mirabel is that they're coming from the city. They're coming from Montreal, they're coming from Laval. It's younger professional, younger families that wanna go there because they're tired of seeing concrete and buildings in Montreal. They wanna see nature, so they drive couple of kilometers north and they go to Mirabel and then they pick the neighborhood they want in Mirabel. The city is getting younger and younger and the average age of its of the owners of houses of its citizen I should say is 37 years old which speaks a lot about the younger crowd from Montreal coming to establish their families in Mirabel and it uh, it has like a vibrant a pleasant vibe the city of Mirabel. You'll notice if you go in their restaurants and you just go and visit Mirabel. You'll notice, you'll notice it really fast. My name is Gabriel Laflamme. I've been a realtor since 2009 and every single day I get calls, emails, texts from people just like you that need help for a project of either a sell or a purchase of a property, whether it's in a year from now, six months, a month from now, we're there to help. My team and I, we're there to guide you so that it's smooth from A to Z. And if there's any negotiation, any problems along the way we're there to guide you to bring some solutions so that at the end of the day you have a nice home if you decide to purchase one or you sold at a great price if you decide to sell so don't hesitate to contact us so I'll start with the cons but I'm really curious if you have any comments about the city of Mirabel yourself if you know people that live there write in the comments what you like about the city or what you don't like about the city I'm always curious to read your comments so now the cons of living in Mirabel the first one that comes to my mind is the commodities access. In some area of Mirabel, because Mirabel is huge, you might have some commodities around your house, but not all of them. You might have a small supermarket, a small grocery store, maybe a truck store, but a lot of the commodities you need in your day-to-day -day life might be missing where you live, depending on where you live. So you might have to drive 10 minutes, 15 minutes to the nearby city or nearby neighborhood within Mirabel. But that's part of it. It's a huge territory. The city of Mirabel has had a crazy growth. But the thing is, his, its infrastructure have not kept up in the sense that you might have some boulevard with only one lane where you would need two lanes. So the city will need to invest a lot of money in the future in those road infrastructures. Because of its explosive growth, if you buy a house in Mirabel, there are chances that if, you find, if you're looking to find a daycare around your house or a school, it might be full. So you might have to take your car, drive around the different neighborhoods, maybe the nearby city to find a place for your kids. Same thing for schools. I have friends of mine that bought a house. They looked for a school that was right next to their house, but the house was full for the next two years. So they had to bring their kids to Boisbriand, the nearby city, to have a place. Eventually, they're gonna build new schools, but for now, it could be a challenge and same thing for daycare. Mirabel, you won't avoid it, there's traffic. There's traffic on Highway 15 to get to Mirabel. And if you wanna go on the weekends to um, the outlets, the shopping mall, well, you hit some traffic over there because so, there's so many people that wanna head there. So if you're lucky enough to live in Mirabel and work in Mirabel, well, that's fine. But if you live in Mirabel and work downtown Montreal, I really hope that you have a flex schedule where you have like three days at home and two days downtown Montreal, because otherwise, you know, the traffic will get on your nerves. If you live in Mirabel, you're car dependent. 
because you'll need a car. And if your family and you know, a couple with two kids, both of the parents will need cars because you need a car to drive to the grocery store that's 12 minutes away. You need a car to go to the highway, to go to the, the, you know, the cities around Mirabel. You have friends, family, to go to work, to go to the park, to go to the sports, to go to the, anything you wanna do in Mirabel, you'll need a car. So you're really car dependent. If you're looking for a downtown area in Mirabel, there's none. You'll have to go to Saint Jerome North or Laval or Montreal if you want to have this energetic downtown area. But in Mirabel, no downtown. I spoke to one of my friends, Alex. He lives in the, the newer part of Mirabel, Domaine Vert now. And he told me, Gabriel, you know what? The fact that there's a lot of condo buildings being built, the tall ones, it gets on my nerves because I moved to Mirabel because I wanted to have this peace of mind, you know, green space. And now I'm seeing like those high rises, like big condo tours. So Alex and other people really don't like those condo tours, con big, huge condo buildings. And we're starting to see more and more of that, especially close to Highway 15. You'll notice them. Mirabel, there's a bunch of green spaces. There's a lot of trees. So when there's a big winds or there's a storm outside, some of the trees will fall and fall on the electric lines and you have some power shortage, power failures. It will last for maybe a day or two, but that's part of the game. If you have lots of trees, that's one of the side effects. Now let's look at the pros of living in Mirabel. Mirabel is an urban city in nature and that's really lovely. You have green spaces, you have trees, and you have beautiful parks. You have Le Parc de la Belle Rivière, and you have Le Parc du Domaine Var, ideal place for family just to be in nature. They're really fantastic. You ought to go there for sure. And the thing is, when you drive, like I said before, when you drive in Mirabel, you'll notice the farmers everywhere. You have, you know, pieces of land, they're growing all sorts of crops, and it, it's really nice. It's a bit, it's a nice balance of a city within, surrounded by nature. Agriculture is dominant in Mirabel, so you have a lot of those farmers market. You can go there every week during the summer to buy fresh fruit and vegetable and local produce. And it's really nice just to know that you encourage those farmers and it's really fresh and tasty. You'll love them. If you buy a Mirabel and you want to have a new house, you'll be happy because there's different areas where you can buy a house in new construction residential areas. You have ones in the Domaine Vainal, you have uh, some other projects in Saint Canut, in Saint Augustin. So if you want to walk in a house that's brand new, you'll have some options. If you're into shopping, there's a great place to shop. It's called the Premium Outlets. It's on the northern part of uh, Mirabel. There's dozens and dozens and dozens of shops at discount and restaurants and a nice place to go, you'll love it. Now the real estate prices, they're more affordable in Mirabel when you compare to Laval or Montreal. Of course, you got some areas where it's really pricey, like uh, for instance, the Men by Now, I spoke about that before. Uh, it's newer, so it's, it's pricier. And you got maybe a Mirabel en haut. But you also have other areas such as saint jean vier or saint Scholastic, saint Augustin, where it's more affordable. In other words, you got different options for different budgets. Property taxes in Mirabel are low. If you speak to anyone on the North Shore of Montreal, they'll tell you Mirabel is great in terms of what you have to pay at the end of the year for your taxes. And when you compare them with saint jean saint jean is pricier than, than, than Mirabel, and it's right next, to, right next to Mirabel, but you're paying a lot more money for your property tax in saint jean compared to Mirabel, which is really low, fairly low. In Mirabel, you got tons of options when it comes to sports and recreation. You got fields for soccer, for football. You can ride your bike if you're a cyclist with your team of cyclists like a Tour de France. You can play golf every single week in a different golf course within Mirabel. It has plenty of golf course. You'll enjoy doing sports, playing sports, activities with your family, with your friends in Mirabel. It's really fun. And last but not least, in Mirabel, you got different neighborhoods for different tastes and different needs. If you like the city, if you like being in the city, well, you'll most probably go to the um, Ben now. You know, everything's new over there. But if you want to have a quiet neighborhood, you'll go to Saint Scholastic, which is a lovely village, or you'll go to Saint Augustine. If you want to have like this uh, a city, but older city with a lot of commodities, well, you'll go on the other side in Saint Janvier, which is just north of Blainville. It's an older area, but you got a bunch of different commodities because it's just it's just right next door to, to Blainville. So in other words, whether you like the city, nature, newer sectors, older sectors, there's plenty of options. So that was it for the pros and cons of living in Mirabel, which is a city on the north shore of Montreal. And like I said, I'm really curious. 
If you have any comments, if you lived in Mirabel, you have friends that live there, just write in the comments, what do you personally like or dislike about the city of Mirabel? I'm always curious to read your comments. And if you need help for a project, you wanna buy or sell a property, my team and I were there to help. So just shoot us an email, call us, write us in the comment and we'll guide you from A to Z. In the meantime, take good care of yourself and after this little video, you'll see another one. And I'm pretty sure you'll love it because if you love real estate, it's all about real estate. Take good care.